Okay, what's up? How's everybody doing? Um, we're here at at a job, and um, the job is we're going to put a closet here with double doors. And um, But first, we got to get rid of the rug. I'm going to cut the rug out. And um, um, it's going to go right here in this corner. So let me get set up and uh, let me rip this rug out and uh, start doing the layout. Okay, do a little bit of framing and sheet rocking. Okay, guys. Okay, it just all came back to me. <laughs> but anyway, what I did was uh, we're going to have a 48 inch opening for the doors. Rough opening is uh, two inches. And. Um, that's how I do it. I got a jack, a jack here, and a stud. This side here, jack, stud, 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 corner stud, stud there. This is for the inside for sheetrock, outside, and a stud over here. And that's our basic layout. Now, I'll measure the length of my two by fours. I'll cut. Bottom plate, top plate, bring them up, lay them down, mark them out, and uh, um, top and bottom, mark, all, mark them out at once. All right, I'll be back with that. Now I have to measure out exactly what I need. Twenty-four and a half. Well, these things are about. Four and a half will do. So the two by four will sit right in there like that. You see if I can fit. The beach. We'll cope that. Cut this. Take this trim piece, a new trim piece. Right like so. We'll take it. Open. Fit so right in there. Just like that. Okay. So here. What we got going on? Yeah. Yeah. 50 inch. 50 inch. 50. Rough opening. 25 would be the center. That's the center. Fours in. That will give us the door jam and uh, that'll work. Okay, over here. Same thing. Go there. Inch and a half. We're going to put a stud right there. She got a nailer. Stud here. Stud here. And we're going to put a stud here. On the end. I only did one plate here because the top one is going to be longer. Oh, so now, yeah, I'm just doing the basic uh, stick frame because of the ceiling on the angle, and I'm not sure if it's a 45 or what the roof pitch is, but I'm pretty sure it's a 12 12, and it looks like it's pretty close to a 45. So, lined up. You see the level line there? go across straight across so let's 
thinking these are gonna go up like so, like that. And I'm gonna put because if I do it the other way, if I do it the other way and put a top plate, what happens is it's gonna stick out. It's gonna stick out. I'm just gonna go right to the right to the studs. I'm gonna go right to the studs and then do a top plate like this. Stay out. Get a A lot of uh, up and down on these stairs. <laughs> a lot of up and down up the stairs. They said I could cut up here. I, I don't. I don't. I don't want to cut inside. If possible, I'll cut outside. I don't cut inside. It's like customers' houses, even when they tell me that it's okay. Anyway, let me uh, put this little nailer here.
guys when I cut the doorway out and I like doing it this way because um, it keeps my wall straight so and um, when I install the door never have any problems as far as one twisting one way or the other you know we don't get those ghost doors that swing out by themselves and you're wondering why sometimes when you do your layout um, and uh, you don't follow the lines of your layout and you build one piece of the wall and then another section and they don't perfectly match um, and we run into problems later we had the same problem in a building um, we were doing a uh, garage extension and um, what happened was um, we always take a, a string line and run it down the wall and we take a little block a little block a half inch you know and we put it uh, put the string out like half inch on one side half inch on the other side and we take a little block and we ride it down the string line up against the wall if it pushes the, the string out then it's got a bow or vice versa or in um, then this your wall is not straight so when I do my closets or small small rooms um, we just do the layout and we put bottom plate top plate and um, my boss used to say We'll cut them out later and everything never had real real big problems anyway i'm missing a little piece there but i think we're ready we're ready for sheetrock i'm probably going to put another two by four here in the center because we have uh this is going to be a shelving area and um our our clothing pole um so I want to put an extra two by four and maybe some support, you know, some blocking on the inside. Let's see. Like with this scrap piece here, obviously it's too short for here, but we can use it for some kind of blocking. And then anyway, so probably put an extra I got two extra two I got two extra two by four so I'm gonna put one here and one there it doesn't hurt it doesn't hurt and maybe just just in case I'm not we're not putting any light or anything in there but sometimes I like to put about four feet high I'll put an extra block um, so if they ever wanted to put a a uh, light switch put a light in here with a light switch uh, there'll be a block in the wall you know and I'm gonna block across that way for the shelf and pole and I think the pole or the uh, yeah pole rod clothing rod it's gonna be low so I'm thinking like there and then I'm gonna put a shelf um, as long as I can fit a 12 inch shelf on the top here I'll put a 12 inch shelf and then and then I'll put the uh, the, the clothing rod underneath it all right let me get two more two by fours to cut and, um, and start sheet rocking it Let's see how that goes
Okay. Hey. Got this. I gotta scroll this in. Scroll this in, guys. Anyway. She rocking pretty easy. She rocking is pretty easy. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, I might have to do this in two pieces. Uh oh, might work, might not, guys. Looking bad already. Looking bad already. Oh, my finger. Oh, man. <laughs> and then what I'll do is I'll just stick the pry bar down there. Where is that pry bar? I thought I had a pry bar up here. I do. Alright guys. This is what we do with the she rock. Sorry the light's not that great, but and then you see it up there? I'll just snug it right up. There we go. Hey? That's not bad. Okay? So that's actually pretty good. You want your she rock just a little bit you don't want to go past the two by fours even though even though you have a little bit of room but I've seen uh, you're nice and nice and flat like here see that I'm gonna come and trim that I don't want that I want nice flat if anything a hair short is better than a hair long something like that and this piece here it's gonna go up here because we have an angle up here on this on this uh, Ceiling. What I do is I take my razor knife, and I gotta do it to these. I gotta do it to this. I'll take my razor knife and I'll cut an angle on it, like, like so. You know. You know. I'll just shave a 45 on it. You know. It doesn't have to be that. I mean, you, you can get as neat as you want. And then just it goes right up there, like so. It's a little tight here, but anyway. And then it goes up there, like that. So it's pretty much up against the ceiling. And I'm going to do the same with these. That's why it's down a little bit. I'm going to shave a little angle and slide them up. And that's the she rock. But wait a minute. What happened here is. I measured to here at 76. I need to come way out here. And I would have cut that wrong. I would have cut that sheet rock wrong. I would have made it 76. Because I'm thinking of the inside. Okay, so we got 79 and a half. See how I'm taking a quarter off of it? 79 and a half. Okay. And over here it's 52. Double check. 52 will work. Okay, 79 by 52. We'll go 52 by 79. That's our angle. And then our width. I'm gonna go. <coughs> Excuse me. I already took the quarter off. So it's going to be 27 and 3 quarters. All right, let me cut this piece and I'll be right back. First coat is on. Let's take a look. So 
So we're ready, getting ready to do our second coat. And um, let me show you a little, little, little thing that I learned back in the days. And doing the first coat, you go with the, I think it's this three inch, probably three inch knife, okay? All right, then you go with your second coat. We'll switch over to the six inch knife, okay? And then your third coat. So just a little trick that, you know, well, it's not a trick, everybody knows. But some guys, um, some guys will, uh, will use like, one night for everything and i tried that before and it works sometimes but um, um first coat is not so critical as long as you get it tight and then what i like to do is on my first coat i'll just go back and scrape make sure that i have no no ridges which i already did this just before just before i put the camera on you know but you go by Make sure you don't have any. Let me just, just clean it up a little bit. This way, okay? Let's hit it. Yeah. Right anyway, so. Uh, look at this tape and knife. wall this tape and knife here <laughs> this is my son's he left me a bunch of little tools here and there and every time that i use uh his uh one of his taping knives or something that he he left me um, um he's always buying really really good tools this is a really nice nice taping knife i don't use this for on the floor or anything else just for taping but anyway shout out to my son ricky love you miss you Thanks for the tapering knife. All right, let me uh, let me let me see if I can put a coat on. So this is your first coat. You see how they got that rough edge? Rough edge, rough edge. Here's your second coat. You want to feather that. Okay, so that's yeah, just there we go. Okay. Everything, everything is feathered in. Real nice and tight. free hand anyway but you got the idea from from this you go to that okay so anyway enough of the taping what we're gonna do is I'm gonna give it a, a second coat and then um, I got to go back to the tile job then I'm gonna come back um, once the floors are installed then I'm gonna do my uh, my clothing rack um, door install and trim the lady doesn't want me to do the trim till the floor is in so that's what we'll do okay so um but that's that's what's so I, mean, I wish i wish i could show you the finish well maybe i can let me take let me uh, let me get some mud on the wall and then maybe i'll show you what, what, what i got so far okay oh i did leave both sides sometimes um some people will just do like one side and then do the other side later. I like to just get them both done and um, um, 
this way so it's a little bit harder but but it's it's a it's a easy neat another easy tip when you do both sides you know don't worry about don't worry about that you see that on the edge you see that we're not gonna worry about that we'll just knock it down but what we do want is a nice flat nice flat feathered outside on the outside edge a lot less sanding this is it for this one right now we're gonna do it to part two on this one we're gonna come back and do some trim door installs some more shelves baseboards paint and um, I think we're in good shape for now they're gonna be installing some floors and I'll come back and install the door and trim um, so we'll wait for the uh, for the floors to go down then we'll do our baseboards and finish it all off um, we're going to our tile job now okay so please watch the tile job I'm gonna be installing some mosaic tile and um, I'm gonna have some bear footage hey bear what you eating um, I ran into a bunch of bears up there and I'm going back and I'm gonna see if I can get some more bear footage and also um, let me leave you with this yesterday I got home and I was doing a little bit of video editing when I got home and Charlie the Mastiff pup wanted my attention and I got a little bit of footage and um, Charlie's doing really good uh, he's about uh, he's a little bit over four and a half months and he's about 50 pounds so he's gonna be a big dog anyway um, I'll leave you with that thanks for watching you know what to do like and share and see you soon here he comes <laughs> Charlie okay okay Charlie the Mastiff pup four and a half months about 50 pounds already Can't hold on to it. His teeth are just coming in. Ow, he just runs into me. <laughs> He's looking right here, Charlie. <laughs> just a little update on Charlie.